Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 video We're gonna be talking about 10 things you need to know about the Emperor Vector sports car Before you end up purchasing this vehicle and before it arrives in Grand Theft Auto Online So we're gonna be continuing our quest to take a look at the features and details and just things you need to know about the unreleased vehicles before they do arrive in Grand Theft Auto Online and we're gonna be talking about the Emperor Vector today a car that I'm very, very excited about, and I know many of you guys are as well. So let's start with the price of the Emperor Vector. It is one of the more expensive drip feed cars. They're all relatively the same, but this one is on the higher end. The Vector has a buy it now price of $1,785,000 and a trade price of $1,338,750. And remember, that trade price is unlocked randomly every five levels of reputation points at the Los Santos car meet. So it is random when you might unlock that, but it is going to save you 25%. And for those of you guys that are wondering, this was the vehicle that was featured on the artwork of Los Santos tuners. So Rockstar, way to go. You feature an unreleased car that has not been introduced into the game and was not arriving on day one. But this is the vehicle that you see Mimi doing like this crouch stance next to. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And we also saw it a handful of times in the various trailers. So this vehicle is going to be arriving shortly. Uh, again, it can be purchased on the Legendary Motorsports site. And let's bring it into the LS Custom Shop where you'll be happy to know it has 25 options of customization. But there's a lot of like subcategories. So it has even more than that. The first thing you can obviously do unique to the vehicle is bumpers for the front and the rear. There's about 10 options for each one right there. So right off the bat, you can immediately customize the front and the back of the car, which is very cool. After that, you have a lot of engine upgrades, including the engine block, rail covers. You can upgrade the strut brace. And of course, you can increase the engine tunes. So for car shows, if you've got that hood popped, you can make a lot of nice customization changes and options right there. After that, it is exhaust options, and some people might be disappointed with how few this has just because all the other vehicles seem to have a mountain full of exhaust options, but you still do have a good little number in there, so don't be too disappointed with that. You've also got fender upgrades too, which there's only a handful here, but I'm excited that Rockstar at least give us the option, so that's pretty cool. After that, we have hood accessories, and you can modify the hood too. The accessories are really just the latches and the pins, but you can also put a couple of bras on there too. And then for the hood, you have a, a lot of options, actually 21 of them, in fact, uh, most going from primary, secondary, carbon, but lots of variations, so that's extremely cool. And you can also upgrade the entire interior of this car, just like most of the tuner vehicles with dash, doors, seats, steering wheels, roll cages, stuff like that. A lot of my cars tend to have kind of a stock look, so I didn't do a ton of like upgrades on the interior, but you guys can feel free to obviously do whatever you want. This, The purpose of this video is just clearly to show you all the customization and things you might wanna be aware about before this vehicle does arrive. Now from there, it's time to jump onto the liveries, and there's 15 really cool ones. The first one being white stripes, you've got two simple white stripes that go across the entire hood, roof, and back of the car. And same with the black stripe as well, literally the exact same thing, except obviously it's black instead of white. I think those are very simple, clean, but also look very good. You've got speed orange stripes, and speed orange stripe, it's kind of this cool design, very similar, like an orange stripe that goes from the hood to the back, surrounded by thin black bars, and then on the Bottom of the skirt, you've got sort of that same design there, which is really fun. I do like that one. It's pretty simple, but looks really good. We Wang Stripes is up next. You can see it's very similar to Speed Orange Stripes. You've just got the We Wang logo in the red and the blue. And there's a gold version as well, where the only difference is literally the color. And it also changes the stripes on the outside from this blue to black. So very, very cool stuff right there. That's Wee Wang Gold Stripes. Then you've got Black Premier Stripes. It's sort of this driver's side, off-centered stripe. Um, and then you've sort of got this checkered flag pattern towards the bottom of the door sill and the skirt. That one's kind of fun. We did a similar livery like that on the Fister Comet S2 the other day. Uh, you've got Green Premier Stripes too, which is the exact same thing, just in green. So no difference there. 
Katana, this is for you all you cat lovers out there. It's got a bunch of like cat logos on there and a raccoon with like X's on the eyes and a halo. Then a couple of sponsorships and like this grocery list pattern right there. You've got Katana Black, which is the same thing, just in black. That one's kind of fun, again, for all you feline friends out there. Up next, we've got Stance Andreas, which is creating like this red and white like wing pattern. That's like the best way I can describe it uh, with some font above that. I actually really like this one a lot. This was kind of one I was debating on putting on there, but just opted not to at the very end. So that's Stance Andreas. I still really like the look of that altogether. After that, it's Mind Mock, which creates this sort of like yellow and black stripe design running all over the car from the front bumper to the sides to even on the back of the trunk. I like this one, but I didn't have like a good color design for it. So I, I opted not to go with that one, but that's Mind Mock. Then you've got 029. I actually don't love this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the car. Maybe it's the design of the livery. I'm just not like a big fan of it. And usually I do like the zero gas ones. Not sure why. The next one is X720. I do like this one as well with the Exorbed logo on there too. I just think the colors are fun. Kind of reminds me of like cotton candy, but it's like this almost like tiger stripe design. So I think that one's pretty cool. Uh, and then the one after that is Mamba's 24. I also really like this one. These are like fun sort of Miami beachy colors uh, with the orange and the blue. And then you've got the snake Mamba on the side. That one's really fun. I'm actually a big fan of that one. And the final one is Sword Boy, which they had to include an anime one, didn't they? So there you go. That's Sword Boy with a fun, interesting design on there. Uh, you guys can let me know in those comments down below which one is your favorite. I opted for a little bit of a cleaner look, but there's nothing wrong with going with something like Sword Boy. And then after that, you've got mirrors. You can do secondary and carbon. That's pretty simple. And then it's on to the respray options where you have your primary, secondary trim, and accent color. Primary is going to change pretty much the entire body of the car that you have not opted for the secondary color. So that's pretty simple and straightforward. The secondary color is going to change, obviously, anything you did secondary, but it's also going to change the brake calipers, which is fun, so you can mess around with that to get some cool looks. Trim color is going to change the stitching and pretty much the entire dash color, so be careful when you do end up changing that, and accent color is obviously going to be what your dials and gauges look like. So pretty simple stuff right there. Then you've got roof accessories and roof the roof, a couple of options. You can change it to primary, secondary, inset, ridge line, and the accessories. You can put various antennas and wings on there. Now, these wings are not going to affect the traction of the car like the spoiler, so just keep that in mind. And then we're on to skirts, where you do have a handful of different skirt options, 17 of them. That is incredibly impressive. Same with the splitters. There's 14 options, too. So Rockstar really maximized the customization on this car, which obviously is amazing. That's what these tuner vehicles are all about. And then, of course, moving on to spoilers, and that one actually does affect the traction. So if you are looking to add something like that, that's going to give you that added boost and benefit. You've got Sunstrip 2, minor modifications there. Suspension, the only thing to note is if you go down to competition, it does add that like cambered, stanced effect. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Some of the vehicles have it on here. Some don't, but the Emperor Vector is one of them. And other than that, that's pretty much it. A couple of other things outside of the Los Santos Custom Shop that I just wanted to try about was see if you could actually change the color of the stock rims, and you can do that, so that's quite nice. So when this is added into Grand Theft Auto Online, you guys will be able to do that as well. This is what it looks like with all the doors and the hood open. It's going to look really great for car shows uh, or just bringing it into the LS car meet. The interior is quite nice too, similar to a lot of the other Emperor cars, but it looks nice for more of like a luxury sports car. So that's what's going on on the interior. And this is what the headlights look like as well. The brights on the front just get brighter. There aren't any extra set of headlights or anything like that. So there you go. That is the Emperor Vector in all of its glory. Some secret details, hidden features, and things you need to know about this car before you end up choosing to buy it or not choosing to buy it here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So when this vehicle arrives, let me know in the comments down below, are you gonna be picking it up? Are you not gonna be picking it up? Or are you gonna be waiting for it to go on discount? Let me know what you guys think about that in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. 
If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Los Santos Tuner DLC videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.